Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Thompson, McNeese State University criminal justice professor. Uh, this is your welcome video for the criminal justice uh, ethics 310 course. This course, I just wanted to introduce myself a little bit as uh, this is an online course, so there will not be a lot of interaction. If you have questions, uh, shoot me an email um, and we can talk about it. We can schedule a phone consult or meet in the office. So uh, here we go. A uh, little bit about me. I. Um, I've been a criminal justice professor since 2008. My background prior to that is uh, law enforcement and military, military for six years with a one year deployment to Bosnia. And I'm a Louisiana state trooper, retired from that to become a full-time professor at McNeese. Now I work for the Calcasieu Sheriff's Office as a police academy instructor. I do all the legal and use of force, um, at least the procedural aspects of training for the Calcasieu Sheriff's uh, Police Academy, which includes all law enforcement agencies that send their uh, people to an academy in southwest Louisiana. That's Calcasieu, Cameron, Beauregard, Jeff Davis, and Allen Parishes. I also work for the Sheriff's Office in the Aviation Unit. I am a uh, mission pilot and the lead instructor for the Sheriff's Office uh, Aviation Unit where we fly and look for fugitives, missing persons, and so forth. I do own a flight school as a business, and uh, that's uh, kind of my uh, side thing. I spend a lot of time in the air. And I do a lot of consulting, criminal justice related, pro bono stuff for the public defender's office from time to time. And I assist prosecutors, plaintiff's attorneys, defense attorneys, and uh, so forth in uh, litigation involving police aspects, um, as in use of force, constitutional rights. Uh, sometimes I'm in, also involved in the investigation and litigation involving car crashes. It's just a little bit about me. I might share some of my uh, other experiences in law enforcement, but I have firsthand knowledge of, you know, the, the ethical issues that law enforcement officers face in today's society. So the main thing, if, if you can remember something 20 years from now, it's going to be these three main theories. I could, you know, I could teach you a, a whole lot about, you know, the, the minuscule aspects of it, but in 20 years, you probably won't remember most of it. I'm a realist and I know that I've, you know, I'm, I'm sure we've all forgotten a lot of the stuff we learned in our, our, our earlier years in school. So if you remember anything, it's, it's these three things that you can apply to your life, to your career, no matter what it is. And it's the three main ethical theories. And they are, if you want to look at the chapter one, uh, PowerPoint, uh, it's your second slide. It's formalism, utilitarianism, and virtue. So I'll kind of work backwards from there. Virtue ethics is simply being a good person. And if you are a good person, you tend to do the right things and you tend to do them the right way. So it starts from there. If you don't have a good person, then what you could have is uh, um, an unethical environment. And there are some unethical people, as in bad people, who are controlled by good people who are just not allowed to, um, to, to act upon their... Uh, their bad intentions, we'll say. And that comes kind of comes down to supervision. Just like if you put a murderer, murderer or a rapist in prison or a child molester, then you can control that environment and take that extremely un unethical person, that, that person with no virtue, and make sure that they can't harm anyone. So, you know, that's kind of how supervision is supposed to act because um, there are people in law enforcement who are there who are not ethical unless they're made to be ethical. And you'll see a lot of examples of that. And that just comes down to a lack of supervision, the lack of leadership. I guess a good example for that would be Hitler uh, was a despicable human being, but he was able to convince a lot of other people to, to be kind of like him. So I'd, I would say uh, all of those people who acted upon uh, his intentions or his desires to kill six million people for no reason were uh, uh, bad people, unethical people, people who lacked moral virtue, but they were allowed to flourish because their leadership did not put a stop to it, we'll say. So we start with the first uh, um, uh, theory, virtue-based theory, be a good person, that simple. Another, uh, the second one is um, formalism. That's doing things the right way at all times. Like for instance, a person who's a formalist who subscribes to the formalism theory and would never deviate from that would never lie. And so lying is a bad thing. And I kind of use the example of if a, a pregnant woman were to ask her husband, hey, do I look fat? And she's nine months pregnant and about to burst. His response might, if he was to tell the truth, is going to be yes. And a formalist would say, yes, you look uh, the way you think you look or whatever, which would obviously hurt her feelings. And while it would be in compliance with 
um, uh, with formalism, it's not necessarily the most ethical thing to do because the outcome would be bad. And that's where we jump into a utilitarianist who is only focused on the outcome of the event. So if the outcome is good, it really, to a, to a utilitarianist, which is the last ethical theory, a utilitarianist um, would sacrifice the way to get there for the positive outcome. We'll say if you've got a suspect in an interrogation room and he kidnapped a, a young girl and is holding her captive, and if he doesn't tell us where she is, and I say us because I'm still in law enforcement, if he doesn't tell us where she is, she will die. Well, he has constitutional rights. He is not allowed to be interrogated or tortured because that's our constitutional rights. In fact, if he says, I don't want to talk to you without a lawyer as a law enforcement officer, we have to immediately stop our questioning, get a lawyer. And a lawyer is going to come in and say, well, I don't want my client to talk to you because if he confesses, he's going to end up going to prison. And the lawyer's job is to uh, protect his client at all costs. With that said, we'll say a detective or the police go in and get angry and um, rightfully so and beat the man until the man tells where the child is. Then the police go find the child, save the child's life, and the child is now survives and would not have survived without the beating. So the outcome of that is, is good. The girl survived, but she wouldn't have survived otherwise. So um, I guess the, the point there is the outcome was good in compliance with utilitarianism. The method was not good. So the formalism would have been violated. And now you have to kind of figure out what would a virtuous person do? How would a virtuous person handle that? A, a person who weighs all the option and decides which one is better, formalism or utilitarianism. So uh, that's kind of a putting them all together. So I wish I could tell you, oh, this one's right all the time. I'm sorry, but it's not. Uh, a people who are constitutionalists would look at that and say, no, we can never sacrifice the constitution for an outcome, even if it does save a little girl. That's a, that's a formalist where me will say as a father, and many of you are, are parents or, um, or have someone that you care about would look at it and go, the value of the child is worth whatever it takes to get there. So anyway, I'm not going to say it's right or wrong. Uh, I, I guess uh, if I was put in an interrogation room with a person, I knew that that person held the information to save a little girl's life and that person wasn't going to tell me, I, I would have to say I'd probably do whatever this is my personal opinion, whatever is necessary to get that information from that person to save, you know, a young girl's life, regardless of the Constitution. So have never had to do that. Luckily, I hope I never find myself in that situation. But, you know, we have to be realist in the in the in the you know, we can't just say, oh, it's easy to make this decision. That's wrong. That's right. It, it's not that simple. So that's kind of my introduction to the course. So to wrap up, the three main ethical theories I need you to know from now until the, the, the end of time and that you can apply in your real life and your professional careers are virtue, formalism, and utilitarianism. Virtue, be a good person. Formalism, do it the right way. Utilitarianism, seek the right outcome or get the right outcome. And that's the determining factor, whether it's ethical or not in, in uh, utilitarianism. If you did it the right way, and even the outcome was bad, you're still in compliance with formalism. And, and for instance, a kind of an extreme example is a cop, somebody jumps out of a car and points a gun at a police officer. The police officer thinks I'm about to die. My family's gonna be left without a, you know, a, a father or a mother in that, in that uh, you know, they're gonna die. And that's a very bad thing to happen. So the officer draws his or her weapon, shoots the suspect, and then goes up to the suspect and looks down and realizes that the gun that was pointed at the officer was not real. It was a BB gun or a toy gun or a replica, which there's no way for the officer to know that. So the outcome of that was bad. The person did not need to die. He posed no threat, what's, no real threat whatsoever, but the officer didn't know that. So the officer acted within a, in accordance with training and in an actual fear for his or her life, and, but, so, but the officer didn't really have to shoot but the officer didn't know that at the time. So the officer's, the outcome of the dead suspect uh, is bad, but the officer's actions to get to that point were not bad. I'm not gonna say they were good because I don't think it's ever a good thing to shoot somebody unless you're shooting somebody really bad. Like I'll go ahead and say a Vladimir Putin. If you get a chance to shoot him, you get a, 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 an A in the course forever. So with that said, 
I said I was going to wrap it up. I'm going to wrap it up this time. Virtue, be a good person. Formalism, do it the right way. Utilitarianism, utility, get the right outcome. And here we go. That's the end of the video. <laughs>